Hey everyone, before we get into the video, I wanted to quickly share the amazing resources we have over at skillcaps.com. We have several hours of gameplay commentaries for every class, where pro players break down key matchups in easy to follow guides. Joining today costs as little as $4.99 a month, and we even offer a money back guarantee if you don't see rating gains while actively using our website. Don't miss out on your goals this season, get the rating you always wanted today at skillcaps.com slash wow. The average game at low ratings is less than 2 minutes. This means that if you become good enough defensively to live past 2 minutes, then you should by default win the majority of your games. You can do this by exploiting your OP defensive toolkit that allows you to completely nullify major CDs and grant you near immunity to all damage for a short period of time on a really short CD, as well as allowing you to take no direct damage for 8 seconds on a separate longer CD. Can you guess what this class is about? It's not warriors, it's not mages. But if you guessed that this video is all about hunter defensives, then you would be correct. In the lower brackets, surviving is all that really matters. We've reviewed countless low-rated games and survival is the main thing we've witnessed that is being done poorly. What this means for you is that if you master the defensive aspect of Arena, then you will by default beat most opponents in the lower brackets. In short, good hunters do big damage but the best hunters can do offensive and defensive plays well. So let's go over our defensive arsenal. Feign Death, Roar of Sacrifice, and Aspect of the Turtle. On the surface, Feign Death doesn't actually do anything other than hopefully tricking your opponents to thinking you're dead. But when combined with Survival Tactics and Craven Stratagem, you effectively have a Damage Immunity button on almost no cooldown. On top of that, it'll also dispel major CDs off you, like Soul Rot, Spear of Bastion, all of Feral Druid Dots including Bleeds, Assassination Bleeds, and Shiv, which is absolutely insane due to Hemotoxin. The list goes on and on, but in short, Feign Death is absolutely insane due to its short CD and flexible usage, meaning you should be able to survive for a very long time if used well. Roar of Sacrifice simply makes the target immune to all critical strikes. The main reason this ability is so strong and causes your opponent to hate you if used correctly is that it can be used on anyone on your team and has such a short cooldown that it can be used to either completely counter or at the very least reduce damage taken on almost any offensive CD literally every time it's pressed. This is called matching CDs. And finally, we have Aspect of the Turtle and Exhilaration which are the simplest abilities in our defensive kit. They essentially are oh sh** buttons that we only want to be using as a last resort. Reason being that if we can survive simply with Feign Death and Roar, then we want to be using those since their CD is lower. On top of that, sometimes we want to save Exhilaration for our pet. And now that you have all the key information, let's jump into some examples. First up, we have a low-rated BM Hunter playing jungle, fighting a Fire Mage Elemental Shaman team. Can you guess which major offensive cooldown our Hunter should be matching with Roar of Sacrifice? If your answer was Combustion, then you're very much correct. Combustion causes the mage to crit with every spell, meaning Roar completely counters it. Our Hunter is doing tons of damage on the mage and pushes maybe a tad too deep. But with a great feigned death, our Hunter immunes almost all of the Elemental Shaman's burst. The Elemental Shaman follows this up with the lasso. However, our healer is currently not CC'd and has every defensive ready for us, so we shouldn't be worried. The Hunter unfortunately doesn't realize this and uses Exhilaration. This will become important later. Fast forward, the enemy mage hits a Polymorph onto our Priest and follows it up with a Combustion. Now ideally, we would want to use Roar of Sacrifice on the Pharaoh instantly. But the Hunter doesn't, resulting in the Pharaoh using their defensives anyway. A late Roar of Sacrifice might seem harmless because we just wasted a defensive that'll be up for next combustion, right? Well, Roar of Sacrifice redirects a lot of damage onto the pet. And if we keep an eye on our pet's HP during the rest of the enemy team's burst, we'll see why we would want Exhilaration. A BM Hunter without a pet is like a warrior without a weapon, it just doesn't do anything. So our Hunter runs away to revive it and gets chased down by the Shaman. With no real way of reviving the pet, our Hunter uses the last resort that we talked about earlier, Aspect of the Turtle, guaranteeing a revive pet cast. If we fast forward once again, our Hunter uses Feign Death offensively to remove a root. This is extremely bad since we have literally no defensives due to the prior mistakes. After a bit of idling, the enemy team bursts us. 
With no defensives left except Roar of Sacrifice, we are forced to use it, meaning we'll have no way to match the up-and-coming combustion. And sure enough, if we fast forward to the combustion setup, we do not have a single button to press, resulting in death. The mistakes of this clip showcases how one small mistake can snowball into a loss. Our hunter used exhilaration when it wasn't necessary, resulting in Pet dying on Roar of Sacrifice, which led to us having to use Aspect of the Turtle. With no CDs left other than Feign Death and Roar of Sacrifice, our hunter then uses Feign Death offensively, and Roar of Sacrifice outside of Combustion, which is the cooldown we ideally want to match. And all of this results in a loss. A similar situation occurs in this rank 1 game from Big Max. His druid gets kidney shot and bursted, and as soon as the enemy mage uses combustion, Big Max counters it with Roar of Sacrifice, resulting in his druid not having to use any defensives. Remember, matching CDs is what great defensive play is all about. When you trade short CDs and survive, it puts you so far ahead. If we fast forward to the next setup, we can see how this panned out. His druid once again gets kidney shot. But since his healer didn't have to use anything in the previous setup, the druid can freely use Trinket Tranquility. If Big Max was to use Roar of Sacrifice on a non-combustion setup and have his druid use Trinket Tranquility on a combustion setup, then they would have lost pretty fast. This is because Roar of Sacrifice only feels super effective into crit cooldowns such as Combustion or Kiefer's, so you want to really make sure you match those CDs with Ross. In this second low-rated example, we're gonna focus mainly on Feign Death and its Dispel mechanic. Our low-rated Hunter is fighting a Night Fey Affliction Warlock. Can you guess which offensive CD our Hunter should be looking to use Feign Death on? If you guessed Soul Rot, then you'd be correct. Now, even though we have tons of pressure on the enemy Demon Hunter, which results in them running away from us, the Soul Rot is still absolutely annihilating us. And since we're not feigning it off, our HP drops to half, resulting in our Paladin using Divine Shield to recover. It's a common misconception that using Feigned Death with Unstable Affliction on you will cause you to take heavy damage and get silenced. But that is not the case. Fast forward, we can see how this snowballs. Our Paladin gets stunned back to back, and since there's no Divine Shield available, it results in death. Feigned Death is a 15 second CD, while Bubble is on a 3 minute CD you always want to be using the shortest cooldown possible to match. Bubble is the biggest cooldown a Holy Paladin has, and since they're already susceptible to dying to Demon Hunters, you really want to make sure you use your cooldowns before your Paladin has to use theirs. And when Feign Death is the most efficient trade to Soul Rot in the game, it's definitely mandatory to match it. To highlight the effectiveness of feigning off Soul Rot, let's take a look at another rank 1 example from Big Max. Here, he's getting bursted with Lasso and uses Roar of Sacrifice. The enemy Warlock applies Soul Rot on us afterwards in preparation for a huge drain life, and to counter it, Big Mech simply uses Feign Death. As you can see, not a single major defensive had to be committed from Big Mech and his team, due to the Warlock having their entire win condition dispelled for free. Soul Rot is literally the burst from Affliction Warlocks. Outside of it, the damage is more consistent and slow. That's why it's so, so important you look out for these key offensive CDs that you can completely counter. Windwalkers are the holy grail for hunters. Their main burst comes from Bone Dust and Kiefer Skyreach, both of which are on a 1 minute CD, and are mainly completely broken due to the crit chance increase. And since we have a 1 minute CD as well that completely counters any crit cooldowns, it's an absolutely perfect match made in heaven to use Roar of Sacrifice on every Bone Dust and Kiefer's. This game kind of showcases what happens if you don't match it. The enemy Windwalker pops Bone Dust, and within 2 seconds, our healer is dead. If you think these types of mistakes are uncommon, then think again. In this second example, the hunter is fighting a Windwalker. The monk incaps us for setup, but messed up by already having applied Kiefer Skyreach. This means the setup shouldn't force any cooldowns. And sure enough, our hunter sits the stun through and simply casts Feign Death as soon as possible. Unfortunately, the Paladin casts Hand of Protection on us, which resets Kiefer's CD, meaning we can still be in trouble. And sure enough, the Monk reapplies Kiefer's, increasing their crit by 50% on us. This shouldn't be a problem if we cast Roar of Sacrifice. Our Hunter decides not to, resulting in Aspect of the Turtle being forced. To showcase the effectiveness of Ross and Kiefer's, we have another game by Big Mechs. The enemy Monk applies Kiefer's and stuns him. 
As a response, Big Mechs instantly applies Ross onto himself, and even though Kiefer's got completely nullified, Big Mech still almost dies. Imagine what would have happened if he decided not to use it. This is why it's so, so important to use Ross on key offensive CDs and enemy buffs, so that you don't end up getting one-shots resulting in a loss in under 2 minutes that can be avoided with simple cooldown matching. So to summarize, matching CDs is a key part of WoW Arena. Trading as efficiently as possible causes you and your team to be extremely durable. As a hunter, efficient trades are almost always possible due to the short cooldown of Feigned Death and Roar of Sacrifice, giving you tons of options when it comes to trading efficiently. The most common mistake at lower ratings is dying fast. If you manage to solve this issue, you'll see big results. And speaking of seeing results, using skillcaps.com can result in gaining over 250 rating this season. That's right, if you don't see rating gains while actively using our website, we give you a full refund. Simple as that. Join over half a million lifetime users for the best learning experience WoW has to offer. Sign up today at skillcaps.com slash WoW. That rounds up our video on Hunter Defensives. We appreciate you watching till the end and we hope to see you in the next video.